right, this is pre-calculus final exam review. Okay, so there are two types of log equations. I'm gonna write some on the board and you tell me what the difference is. Or I'm just gonna make them up. The base for this one is? Yeah. The base for this one is? E. Okay, there's another difference. The one significant difference. E. What's the one significant difference? Uh, one equals zero. And one equals zero. Oh, you can drop the ln on the one on the right. Why? Can I drop the ln for the one on the right? Both sides. Because what? On both sides. Every, every term has it. Every term here doesn't have minus, yeah, not every term. minus four. This right here, the constant makes it different. You want a single log equals the number, and then you're going to write an equivalent exponential equation. For this one, you want a single log equals a single log. Okay, so we'll work them. Probably won't, we're not gonna work them all the way, but up into the point to where we get it to exponential form. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is move what's multiplied to the exponent position. So it becomes the log of four squared plus the log x plus three minus the log six. I'm gonna move four to the other side equals positive four. So now can we combine the logs? We are. So addition is? Wait, addition is multiplication. Multiplication, so we're gonna multiply. 16. Division is? Subtraction is division. Subtraction, that's right. Subtraction is division. I think I said divided by. Equals four. Now. No, 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 no. This is one term. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to write an equivalent exponential statement. Oh, yeah. So you do uh, 10 to the 4th yes. equals 16. Correct. So now we. Base to the exponent is the solution. And now that's just algebra. I made that up, so. Okay, you're saying that's helping you. No, I want you to. Brain power. No, okay, this one. Now I wanna go single log equals a single log. So addition is, well, I gotta move this out front. So it's the ln of three plus the ln x plus one squared is the ln of 36. Addition is multiplication. So it's the ln of three times x plus one squared is the ln of 36. Drop the ln's. Just solve for x? Yes. Okay? That's not that bad. No. You just have to know the difference. If you have a constant, you're going to logs. I mean, if you have a constant, you're going to exponents, right? Single log equals your constant, go to exponents. If you have all logs, we're not moving the logs across the equal sign. Or single log equals a single log, drop the logs, solve. Okay? All right. 
Did we finish page five? Page five. Let's look on page five. Any questions on page five? Mm. Okay, that's an irrelevant question. Yes, that's what I like to hear. Okay, but what it's asking, here you go, what it's asking, are there any outliers? If there's any outliers, then I'd be wanting to look at the mean. There's no outliers. 95. 95. Yeah, 95. Mike's, right, that's, that's, but most of them, like there's not a million or a hundred thousand in there. One so far out that it's going to skew it that much. I would say the mean, <clears throat> but I'm not asking you anything like that. Let's see what the answer is. All right, anything else on that page? It said the median because the outlier, number 95. Yes. For 40 and 41, it says which is log. Oh. oh, oh, what? I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, when I change multiple choice questions to just answer the question and I take away the multiple choice options on my computer, the questions still sound like wonky. So there were actually four options to choose from. So that's why it says which one of those is the right answer. And I just didn't go in and change it. Just write it as a single log. Well, what, would it be, uh, what would 40 be? Is well, that x to the third power? The log of x to the third power times, times Correct. And then would we put that equal to zero? No, that's it. Just a single log. Okay. Log of x cubed times four time, times, I'm sorry, not four, times x minus two raised to the fourth power. Cool. It'll be log of x to the fourth <coughs> minus log. Times, times. I'm talking about 41, sorry. 41, say Log it. of x to the fourth, and then you just divide it by log of, uh, log, I mean, uh, x minus two. To Correct. Yes. No, no, not divided by the log. There's only one log. No, I'm saying log of x to the fourth over x minus two squared. Correct. Yes. Yes. Uh, can we do 43? Yeah. Find the equation of a hyperbola centered at the origin. So it's just x squared and y squared. Nothing added or subtracted to it that satisfies the given conditions. We have x-intercepts. What does that tell you? Where? If it intercepts the x-axis, that's our major axis. That's our a value. So it's going to be x squared over 16. It's a hyperbola. And it has this asymptote Does that in any way give us our B value? If that's correct Because that's the change yeah. in Y right here uh, so Over the change in X which was our A value so this is nine. Again, 44 sounds weird because you had multiple choice options, but I took them away. But that's, that's a hyperbola. That is a hyperbola, yes. Anything else on page five? All right. Before I forget, there are 22 questions on your final exam. 22. You are go exactly. <laughs> Thank you, David. You've told me this all year. It still hasn't. I've probably told you that for three years. <laughs> no, no geometry. Which one? Which 45? 45. <clears throat> Sketch a graph. Here we go. Sketch a graph. What is the graph going to look like? It starts at. There are, are 
Our origin is at negative one, two. Yes, that's the center. But the vertices are on which axis? X or Y? X. X, that is correct. All right, so negative one, two, that is the center. What's my A value? It's five. Yes. E values. So I'm gonna go five to the left. Five, two, three. Yeah, five to the right. I, what else do I need? Uh, Those uh, asymptotes. asymptotes. So it's Y equals It's the y over the x, because it's like slope. So it is what over what? Right. What? Right. Yes, Which is what? Four over five. Four, yes, yes, Landry. Four over five. Yeah. Whatever's under this y value over whatever, well, you know the square root of it, because that's the value squared. Okay, so we're gonna go up four from this center. One, two, three, four. Up four, over five. So we're making this box, right? Two, down. Make the box. Then draw your asymptotes. The asymptotes help us know the direction of the branches, how wide, how narrow. this. We good? Okay. This is the money we're going to invest in two savings accounts. I'll say one is X and one is Y. When I add up what I have in both of those accounts, that's how much money I have. One yields 7.5%. We'll call that what I'm earning on X. The other one is 8.5%. So you'd like to find the amount placed in each of the accounts. If a total of $715.25 is earned one year, in one year. So if I take that rate times how much I have in that account, add it to the 8.5% times how much I have in the Y account. That's what that's what I want to get. That's what I want to earn. Then you can use substitution. X equals 85.40 minus Y. So it's 0 0.075. Y'all can solve for that, right? From there. <clears throat> Reduced to no echelon four. Which one is that? No, we don't. That one, no. We don't. Can we just go over how to do that? Oh, yeah, we can do it on a You can. I didn't say shit. Yes, ma'am. No, no, no. Is that adding or is that Number 50 is adding. So it's negative 9 plus 1. Okay. And then 7 plus 9. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Thank you. 
intro echelon, we just go second matrix, correct? Yeah, put the matrix in. And then edit. Yes. <coughs> Oh, no, it's, it's a three, three by, by four. 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 It's a three by four. Then you want to do our wrap. Where is that? Is that in? It's down further. You can't see it. This problem is already in my country. Well, there we go. Must have been the last one that we did. <coughs> that is crazy. Then second quit. Love the second matrix. matrix. Then, yeah, second matrix. Then go do math. <clears throat> and it's B. R. Ref. Second matrix again. And then go and choose is, that. Where do we find R. Ref? Okay, do. So go quit down. out. Let's go down a yeah. Then you do a second matrix and go to math. Oh, uh, okay. And mine is B. One zero zero one zero one zero five. One one five six. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Are we going to have to do these by hand? <sighs> no, we're not. Faded, like, Probably we're not. <sighs> Miss Haley, I want to go work with my dad. Yes. And he, uh, I showed him five hours just this. Yes. He's like, man, I'm glad you're at that school. Any of that where he works? Not necessarily. No, you don't. But but he was like, I'm glad you're doing it now, so that I don't have to teach you. Okay, and it, and it's just so that you're thinking. Like my boys that have graduated, all the math that they learned. That's what he. It's said. on a computer. But but you have to understand the concepts. You don't have to do the calculations. But you absolutely have to understand the concepts. Okay. Wait, what are we doing here? I got one, two, zero, four, five. It's one, okay. five, two. You want to make this one, and you want to make those zero. Like you want to work in the first column. Uh, so. If you take, this is really Calculus 3. All right, so if y'all take Calculus 3 anywhere, it seems like that's when Thomas had to ha had to know matrices. Matrices, sorry. We should FaceTime Ryan. I mean, no, Ryan. Thomas. Thomas. Oh, yeah, no way. He's stressing about right now. That's a J. So divide by 3. That's what I would do. It's not going to be pretty. So that's 1 negative four thirds, negative five thirds, negative nine. nine. So I just took row one divided by three. We'll just do the first row. I'm gonna go ahead and make this zero. I'm gonna take row two minus row three to make that zero. So I'm not doing anything to row three. three it would be zero, six. Two, yeah. Two. Negative, negative two, two. My, that's negative six, right? Negative two. Yeah, you're right. Negative, negative six, okay. That's positive 18. Now I need to make this zero. So this is where it's not gonna be pretty. I'm gonna take negative five times row one and add it to row Four. three. <laughs> we'll, we'll stop there. One, negative four thirds, negative five thirds, negative nine. We're not doing anything here. 
Boy, this next row would be easy to change that to a one. We just combined by six. That's real nice. Okay. <laughs> negative five, zero. <laughs> so it's negative five times negative four thirds plus four. We're going to have to have a common denominator. So that's going to be 20 thirds plus 12 thirds, which is 32 thirds. Like 10, 10 something. Right? 20, 12, 32. All right. Then we take negative 5 times negative 5 thirds and add it. It's the same one. Except yeah, this, is really this is 25 thirds. So that's 37, 37 thirds. Just doing just. Just doing math. She's doing it for fun. The math thing. And then negative five. This one will be easy. Times negative nine plus negative seven. That's what forty-five minus seven, thirty-eight. All right. So you go left to right. That's what you want to do. <clears throat> okay. Any other questions? On page six, yes, ma'am. Um, I was just wondering if for whenever you're multiplying, uh, then like for fifty-two. Do you do you do row row one of a and then column one and multiply like the first by the third, the second by the third, the third by the third? Yeah, in that first in row one, column one position. In this first, yeah, it's going to be big. In this first row one, column one position, it is row one in the first one times column one. So it's negative four times negative four plus one times three plus negative four times two. That's in that position, row one, column one. So that's what? That's 16 plus 3 minus 8. So what is that? What is that? 19 minus 8, 9, 11. That's what would go in row one, column one. This would be row two, still column one. So it's three times negative four <coughs> plus three times three plus one times two, which is negative 12. Negative 12 plus nine plus two, so that's negative one. Make sense? Uh -huh. I know it's hard to keep your eyes straight. I was it's hard for me to keep my eyes straight. Yeah. I I realized what I did now. Thank you. You can go raise that for a second. I'm not. Right, the first numbers are this row two, three, three, one, right? The second numbers are column one, negative four, three, and two. Get it? And then you would do row three times column one? Correct. And then row two times column and, one? Yes. And then... Wait, and then, no, then you row one times column two. This is row three times column one. This is row one times column two. Row two column two, row two, row th three, Paula, column two. All right, this is still row one, row two, row three, column three, column three, column three. Column three. I got it. Get it <sighs> Any 
anything else on page six. God bless you. Bless you. Yes. <laughs> what kind of sneeze is that? <laughs> <laughs> I need it. Okay. Yeah, you have sex. Anything else on page six? Okay, page seven. We're moving on. Page seven. Oh, please tell me you know number 58. Please tell me you know no. number 58. The, what's the limit? It's two. No. No. No, David. <laughs> Same thing. Yes. No! Yep. It's negative, negative two. two. Same thing. Oh. Okay, David. Where the hole is. Everybody. The hole is, everybody listen, the hole is a removable discontinuity. And a limit exists. We don't care where the hole is plugged. Yes, Sally. Do we say like why? No. No. The limit of f of x as x approaches 2 equals negative 2. Okay. So it's always with the y value? This is always what is y approaching from the left and right. Okay, so y'all should be able to do 59 quickly, right? It would be 7 and negative 1. 7 and negative 1. Y'all should be able to do 60 real quick. Hey, you 60, 60 real quick. Positive three. 61. Uh, you're real funny, Elliot. 61 real quick. Negative one. If I get it, you're just subtracting or adding those limits. What about 62? Wait. Go ahead. Wait. What? Never mind. Never mind. You just plug in two for 62. For, for 57, it would just be 68 and 4, correct? 68 and 4 is correct. 63, remember you're multiplying by the conjugate of the numerator. Okay, please tell me 64. Yeah, this is on your test. Oh, wait, can I see my test again? I got to look up on it. 64. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the one you just kind of had to guess on. Seven. Like it's in between. Is it seven for this one? Well, yes. Yeah. It seems like it was four on the test. Yeah, it was four. Okay, I need to go from this direction. It's definitely X equals seven. I remember this problem very simply. I think for some of y'all it was X equals four. Okay. I can yeah. change yeah, it. Yeah, it was number 16 for B. <clears throat> number 16 for B. Yeah, it was. Because I asked you like four or five times. Let's just leave these out just in case people want them. Yeah, this is burn mine. It will go on my desk until final up. grades are done. Can I incinerate it? You could take it home and you can act. You absolutely could. You want to? Here we go. You want it? Anybody have a lighter? No, not right now. You can take yours home if you want. Yes, Landry. David, I don't even know what I did with yours. Oh, David, yours is right there, Bunny. Yeah, y'all can take this home if y'all want to study from it. I'm, oh, I'm okie dokie. Of course, most of them are on here. I'm okie dokie with it. I'm okie dokie with it. You think that'll get me some likes, subscribes, hits? Zero percent. Smash. I mean, I mean, like smash. X equals six. Smash the like button. I mean, if they watch that part. I think it's X equals seven. Yeah. Are they really going to get through 29 minutes of the video just to hear that one comment? I got six and a half, so I didn't turn it down. Okay, that's fine. I would have said seven. Too short. Just that part. Of yes. Part. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. All right, everybody. Tell me, what do I do with sixty-five? It's a piecewise. It is a piecewise. What am I going to do with sixty-five? Oh, factor the both the numerator and denominator. So you would do it would be um, negative of oh, x plus three, x minus one. How about x minus two, x minus one? Wait, am I just doing these wrong? <laughs> 
It, it's what a multiply gets two. And That's correct. Gets, multiply gets positive two. Add it gets. So x plus three, x minus one is not. Does that work as well? X. Say that again. X, x plus three, x minus one. So they add. Oh no no no. They multiply. Don't. They, both, they both multiply though. <laughs> no, three oh, times yeah. negative one is negative three. What am I doing? Okay, Elliot, you normally get these correct. Okay, what's that denominator? Yeah. Okay, so there's a removable discontinuity at two. <laughs> if I plug in two, what do I get? What, that's one over negative two? Is that where they plugged it in? That's where they plugged it in. So it's continuous <laughs> at every point. Except at two. X equals four. It's not continuous at X equals four. So what, is that what you put? Correct. Not continuous. Actually, it says which numbers determine all numbers in which the function is continuous. So it would be like all It would be all negative infinity. It would be all real. All real. Or except also negative infinity to four. Yes, negative infinity to four. It cannot equal that. And four to infinity. Yes. You would put brackets though if you were on the test. No brackets because it cannot equal four. Oh, and it can't equal negative infinity. And it's not a number, really. It's What is that? <clears throat> Okay, for number 66. So many of y'all, look at number 66, everybody. So many of y'all got this wrong, or part of it wrong. Which one? 66. Guys, that denominator, X, cannot equal one or negative one. So many of y'all just did one. Oh, I definitely did that. Okay, but one of these is removable. Which it's one is removable? One. One. That one, negative one, is removable. You know what I was saying. Though. Yes, I did. I absolutely did. X plus one is removable. That's the removable one. one. That is not <coughs> removable. And some of you on 37, okay. Wait, why is negative one removable? Wouldn't that just make... Because the, the numerator is, that's a zero of the numerator, and it's a hole in the graph. On so there is a limit. When a limit exists, that's when it's removable. We are going to look at 67. 67 is just lead coefficient over lead coefficient. Over right. Yeah. So... So it's... Six. I actually believe Elliot worked it different. But it was ingenious because, well, it was the long way. It was the long way. He made a common denominator, and then he looked at the lead coefficient. That's how the book does it. And we weren't here for like two weeks. Okay. That's how the book did it. Okay. Okay, this is the same thing. It's the same thing as this. Okay, I want everybody to look at me. You will not leave my class and get this wrong next year. So is everybody listening? Several of you did this. You cancel the next. Wait, we're doing what? I about on this problem. The one that was like it on the test. Okay. You can only simplify terms that you multiply. So we can't just do lead coefficient over lead coefficient. You can. Okay. Yes. But if we were to go to a common denominator, that's you would get the same point. answer, actually. Okay, so lead coefficient but, is three over one. Yeah. I mean, you want me to tell you the mistake you made? You then added the denominators when you went to a common denominator. 
Wait, did I get it wrong? What's wrong with it? You got that part wrong. You added your denominators. So your lead coefficient in the denominator was wrong. I think you had nine halves and it was just nine. Yeah. It's because he had a common denominator, but he added the common denominators. Why can't you add that? Okay, three over two plus six over two is what? Do we add the denominator? Do we have a common denominator? No. Same way. 3x squared over x squared minus 9 plus, I don't know, 4x squared over x squared minus 9 is just 7x squared over x squared minus 9. You don't add the denominators, okay? Guys, but I will tell you, these are common mistakes in your upper upper level math. I, I, I really think I work hard to get the rules in your brains with the Miss Haleyisms, you know? Simplify before you multiply, but you can only simplify terms that are multiplied, right? Okay, don't forget these rules next year when you're in calculus. The rules don't change. All right, so yes, then it's just lead coefficient over lead co coefficient. What is the? Six. Six, right? The limit is six. Three plus three is six. Yeah. Or you can do it like the book and it's longer. Yeah, well, I, okay. yeah. Yes, you did longer. Yes, sir. Yes. We can take a break. Yes, we have one more.